good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whenever you're watching us, you know who I am by now. The D.O.U.G. And I'm here for my video game review of Darksiders 2. That is right, Darksiders 2. I completed 100% of it last night. So I'd like to pat myself on the back. It is my 47th Platinum. The Darksiders 2 is an action-adventure says action or playing game which was published by THQ and developed by Virgil Games. I'm probably mispronouncing that. It is a sequel to Darksiders 1 and was released August 2012. It is also right now on the Wii U as well. Uh, now the, pretty much the storyline is pretty much this. You're playing Death and you're trying to um, help your brother war out and show that he was innocent and in what he did in the first one. That's all I'm going to say. If I tell them much of the story, it will spoil you. But I will give you a heads up if you do get this. Watch the, uh, Keep an eye out for the post-credits because there's something after the post-credits. <laughs> so it ain't that good. Now, with that being said, gameplay-wise it does very well. It, you can tell it's kind of using some elements from God of War and Zelda, but it does it very well. Mm, Bojangles. Good to it. Anyway, um, gameplay's very well. Sound-wise, it is good. Um, story's actually kind of interesting. I actually would approve of it. I mean, that's why it took me so long, because the story had me... You can kind of guess what's going to happen near the end, you know, what's he going to choose. But that is what it is. Now, mm, excuse me, nose ditch. Um... Let's talk about the trophies for a minute. Uh, there are a grand total of 50 trophies. 49 regular ones and the one platinum. Now, 46 of them you can get offline, but 4 of them you need to get online. Well, technically 3, because platinum you pretty much get offline. But I'll explain. You would need an online pass for this game. Because you have to be able to gift items for the pay it forward trophy, which you have to send someone who is on your friends list who has the game and send it to them. You also must go to the arena, which you get with the online pass to uh, go from wave 100 to 1 to 100 and brave old chap. You must redeem the online pass that comes with a new copy of the game or buy it from the PSN store. You, you can also, like I just said, Purchase it on PSN if you're playing on evented or second-hand copy. Now, there are no missable trophies in this game. You should be able to get everything on your on at least your first one. Now, there are difficulty trophies. You can complete the game on any setting, complete the game on normal, and complete the game on hard, or as it's called apocalyptic. Now, I can tell you that mode is a bitch because oh god, the bosses. Or pain in the ass, but the sad thing is, the second to last boss is is the hardest one. The last boss is a fucking joke. I mean, now my recommendation is play it on easy first and get all the trophies and get all the side mission trophies and all that. Now you do have to play a new game plus because you have to get to level 30. Once you hit level 30, that's when I would go into the arena mode. Now most of these trophies are time consuming, not difficult. Complete the Book of the Dead, that's going to be time consuming. Uh, the only other one that's really time consuming is Collect the Lost Relics and Complete Sticks and Stones. Other than that, there's really no difficulty with the trophies. Now, like I said, Darksiders 2 is the sequel to Darksiders 1. Uh, you're pretty much like I said. Um, now, I don't think we're going to see a third one because, you know, what's happened with THQ. You know, maybe unless Virgil Games can figure out what to do. Because um, there was a third Darksiders game was originally planned, but the fate of its franchise is threatened due to the financial fuck-ups of... Uh, THQ fine for bankruptcy. According to a recent report from Only SP, THQ confirmed that Virgil Games planned a sequel in the season and intended to review a new function with the game. Unfortunately, Virgil has not chosen 
was not chosen for purchase by any other game publisher, resulting in an end to its development. Until a publisher buys Virgil Games and funds its development, Dark Souls 3 and future related games remains uncertain. Which is kind of sad in a way, because um, I was hoping this would be one of the games picked up, but it was not, unfortunately. Um, so this kind of falls into the under THQ's problem, um, which really sucks. Because I enjoyed Darksiders 1, you know, I was never able to platinum it. And I enjoyed Darksiders 2 very much. Um, and those are the only games it's made, Darksiders and Darksiders 2. It has not made any other games yet, but right now, who knows what's going to happen. So it should be interesting to see what happens. Uh, at the end of the day, though, the trophies and everything, they're not that difficult. So I'm going to give a trophy difficulty of a 3 out of 5. I only give it that because there are some time consuming ones and the AI on hard mode. Some of the bosses can be a complete bitch. You will die on hard mode. I can guarantee you that. And you're going to be backtracking to other areas to level up because you're going to have to be at least level 21 just to beat the second to last boss. Um, I'm going to recommend this before I say what I gave the game score. If you ever get possessed weapons, you use them for as long as you can. Because they, they level, you know, once you give them weapons and all that other crap, gloves, boots, armor, all that, they level up. So there's that little role playing that's there. Um, but, I'd, how would I recommend the game? What would I give it a score? I would definitely recommend it. And I give Darksiders 2 a 4 out of 5. Very great game. The only thing that's holding it back was the fact of the AI sometimes can be a complete bitch. And there are some glitches. Uh, sometimes it, when you would, sometimes the uh, lock on radar would not recognize on an enemy. When it did, they would not lose health. Sometimes the enemies just completely ignore you, which is good and bad. Um, and sometimes, at least I had a few cases of it, you can pass through walls. But, counting those glitches out, it's a 4 out of 5. Dave would have recommended it. Not a difficult platinum, just very time consuming. Alright, that's my review of Dark Siders 2. Let me know if you played Dark Siders 2. Did you enjoy it? Would you like to see a Dark Siders 3 eventually down the road? Alright, well, that is my review for that. Tune in in about ooh, a few more minutes because I will have a special review of the third of Borderlands DLC. And I can, uh, I can take Borderlands 2 DLC, I should say, the third one. And believe me, I'm going to rip it a new one. So until then, this is your boy, the DOUG, signing out. Woo!